congratulations on the film. Thank you. Uh, stepping back into the well after a few years yeah. away, how much fun was that for you to step back? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it was it was nice, you know, after we finished the other movies to do some other things and, you know, try some different things and um, and make different things for, I think, for me, for Suzanne, for Nina. Um, but then when Suzanne called and said she was almost done with another book, it was really exciting because, you know, I think her writing's great. I love being a part of the world. I love work, working with her, I love working with Nina. So it was really exciting to go, come back in. And then having read the manuscript, I got even more exciting, excited because it very much felt like a Hunger Games movie. Um, but it also felt very unique and very fresh that we were telling a very different kind of a story about sort of a character's descent into darkness. It was a bit of a period piece to the other movies so we could kind of build the world out in a different way. So it was like a, a whole sort of new palette of fun challenges for us. In terms of you as a, as a filmmaker, where you started with your music videos, all that kind of stuff, yeah. how did all that, how does your beginnings kind of help you do something like this? Because jumping into a big movie like this is a, is a, is a tough task. Did, did you find any of the skills that you found then that you've been able to transpose into these? No, I mean, I think that, you know, the, the biggest benefit that music videos gave me in, in my film career is I think before my first movie, I'd probably done about 100 music videos. And so if you, say a music video can be anywhere from one to five days long in terms of shooting, you know, that's hundreds and hundreds of days that I've had on set, you know, figuring things out, figuring out how to make things look the way that I want them to look, trying different equipment, trying different kinds of visual effects, dealing with multiple personalities, shooting all over the world, dealing with weather, time, whatever, you know, learning all these kinds of things. So by the time I started making movies, a, the visual side, I think, became kind of second nature, right? It's still really my favorite part of the process, but that's more second nature, which would allow me to work more on sort of characterization, work with the actors, make sure that the story's working, make sure that the sort of thematic elements are coming through in all the choices that we make. Um, so I think it's just having that experience allowed me to be able to focus on other things. You've got a wonderful cast uh, in this, and similar to the other movies, you've got this fantastic kind of young cast of up-and-comers. You know, obviously Jennifer Lawrence was an up-and-comer when yeah. you cast her, and then you've got these amazing kind of seasoned actors, Peter Dinklage, Jason right. Schwartzman. But I wanted to focus on Viola Davis, because yeah. I feel like she absolutely steals this, and it's another side of this incredible yeah. actor. What was it like kind of bringing her in and getting her to do a, something a little bit different to what she's maybe been I mean, that was recently? honestly part of my pitch to her was, was to try to get her to do, to do something. She and I had a little bit of a, of a relationship because we were developing and still are developing something together. And she was my first choice. And, and I will say, I sort of, there was only one other person in the series that I had to do this with, and that was F Philip Seymour Hoffman. And he was finishing Death of a Salesman um, on Broadway, and he obviously had heard of Hunger Games, but he really didn't know anything. He hadn't seen the movies. He hadn't seen, well, there was only one movie at the time, H hadn't read the books. So I sort of had to talk to him about, like, the sort of thematic premise, like why it attracts such good actors and, you know, all of that. It was the same with Viola, where she obviously had heard of the movies, had heard of the books, knew they were so successful, knows the sort of the pedigree of the, the people that have worked and acted in them. So we talked a lot about the thematic potential, her, connect, her character's connection to the themes of the story. But I also told her that I'd seen, because I follow her on Instagram, I'd seen she had posted a little piece of fan art, which was somebody had taken a, a shot of her, I think it was from The Help, but with the sinister grin. And it was this fake horror movie poster. And she said something like, what do you, what do you all think? Should I do, try doing a horror movie? And I said, what I love is this is an opportunity not to do a horror movie, but to do something very, very different. Um, and I think that excited her. I think she's, you know, and that pulls people in because there's substance, but you can do something com completely different than one may be used to. Fantastic. Well, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for your, Thank you, for your time. It. Thank you. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. Hey, 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 that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey you guys.